One of the spectacular things that's happened with cane toad invasion of Australia is that it's happening at different rates in different places. The toads in tropical Australia are moving at about 60 kilometres a year, but in northern New South Wales, the front only seems to be extending at about five kilometres a year. And I'd really like to understand why that difference. Northern New South Wales has a very diverse wildlife and many components of that fauna are very likely to be threatened by cane toad invasion. Uh, the big spotted tail quoll, this big marsupial, some of the snakes and lizards, we already know that they're not doing well when the toads arrive. I think we can do something about that. So one of the things we've discovered is that the big risk to the native wildlife comes when their first encounter is with a very large cane toad. And that's typically what you find at the invasion front. You try to eat that toad and you die of a heart attack immediately. If there are small toads around, it's not such a big problem. You learn that toads taste bad and you shouldn't eat them. So that up in the tropics, the way to buffer the impact of toads is to release very small toads immediately in advance of the front. But we really can't do that in northern New South Wales. The toad front is moving slowly, we can't predict where it will go, and I don't want to start releasing toads in places that don't already occur. But we can do this, we achieve the same end and train the predators by using toad flavoured sausages. We can actually make sausages out of toad flesh and put them out there in the environment, give predators a chance to taste toads, to get sick, and so when the real toads turn up a year or two later, Hopefully, that goanna knows that a toad is a very bad item for the menu. So, you know, when, when you look at a, at a lizard or a snake or a frog, you don't get the impression that there's a, an Einstein in there. But in fact, our native wildlife has proved to be incredibly good at learning to avoid cane toads. If you give a goanna or a crocodile even a single meal of cane toad, that's often enough to teach them never to try to eat cane toads again.